Hi, good afternoon, everybody. Tom Stewart here with uh, Cleaning Business Today. I'm with uh, my partner, Liz Trotter. Hey, Liz. Hello. And it's uh, five o'clock. It's uh, smart business moves in the COVID-19 world. Uh, how are things in your world, Liz? Pretty good. Pretty good today. It's been a busy, productive day, so it's a good day. A um, little bit busier today, uh, cleaning-wise, so that's good. Uh, I bought I bought the accounts some um, accounts from a company that was going out of business uh, because they just can't make it through small very small company so if you um, have that opportunity highly recommend it people are motivated to sell uh, let me I'm trying to find our live here Tom so I can comment how are things going in your world. Oh, been staying busy. Um, we've been pulling some training material together, working on the um, professional house clean of the PHC program. Um, as you know, Liz uh, and I and a couple other folks had a meeting earlier today, uh, pulling all that together. Um, spending some time with the SBA, working out uh, some issues. I had a problem. I... Um, have some businesses that I personally own and others that are owned by other businesses and the ones owned by the other businesses seem to go. Okay. And even ones that are, that are owned by me in some cases went okay, but others, there's some issue with the credit check because I had a freeze on one of my, uh, on, on, on a couple of the, it's like three bureaus that, that do credit checks and I had a freeze on two of them. And that was like two weeks ago. And they're still telling me I have a freeze and I don't have a freeze, but they're probably, I don't know. I probably went to the back of the line oh, and, and, and I got monies in one business with, you know, the freeze wasn't an issue. So I, 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 I don't know what they're checking and what they're not checking. Yeah. Some things are pushing through. Who knows? No rhyme or reason to some of it from the, the lay person's point of view. That's for darn sure. It seems like they've just hired a ton of people that are really nice to answer the phone and just be polite, but they don't really know anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, better to be polite and not know anything than to not know anything and be a butthead about it. <laughs> right. so. I mean, from service, to, customer service making you feel good sample is like, <laughs> you hang yeah. up, you don't know anything, but you feel good about yourself. <laughs> Like, okay, it could be so much worse. Uh, so we already have a question. Sharon's like on it. She's busy. She says, how do I disinfect in a home that had coronavirus? What products do you recommend, Tom? Do you have wow. products that you're recommending? Hit it hard, Sharon. Yeah. Um, Sharon, did you uh, have a chance to uh, see the program that uh, Liz and I put on a couple of weeks ago on uh, – you know, what house, professional house cleaners need to know uh, cleaning in a COVID-19 world. It's a uh, rocking class and it, it's still out there. If you want, want to take it, it's about a three hour program and there's a certificate of completion that you get at the end of it. Uh, and one of the things that we point out in that class is uh, there's a long list of products that most likely uh, render the, uh, the virus, the uh, SARS-CoV-2 virus, which is the actual virus that causes COVID-19 renders it um, where it, it's not infectious. However, being a novel virus, um, the safest thing to do is to follow the uh, list that uh, the CDC puts out. And we have that link. I think that link is in the um, uh, yeah, the resources for uh cleaning business today and we'll show you that here here at the end but i would go to uh look at the products that the uh, the cdc um, could you recommend. could you put the link for um just modern cleaning and that the covid 19 test the the uh, program so in, in case you haven't seen it sharon you weren't on um it's the link on the left i believe it's the covid 19 training it's broken up into two courses uh, 90 minutes each, and then the certificate is after that. It's, pr it's pretty um, um, easy to find, easy to do, 
not easy to take the test. If you attempt to take the test before you take the course, you you won't pass. Uh, chances are good you won't pass. Maybe you will. I don't know. I'm not challenging anyone. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see. Uh, Leslie is pointing out that Cabbage is another place that you can submit your PPP loan through. Somebody told me Lendio also that you can submit through there. I'm thinking if you haven't submitted yet, you need to get on that quick, though, because it is uh, – those monies aren't going to last forever. How long was it open last time, Tom? A week? Maybe? Well, the first $349 billion, and I'm just doing this. I think it took them a few weeks oh. to, to burn through that, but they weren't lending money initially because the banks, it took them a while just to even figure out how to get an application, and the banks didn't know what they were doing, and they were trying to get guidance. And the second time around, the gap between when they ran out of money and I think like a week and a half, a week and a couple of days went by between they ran out of money until they got money again, that the banks were processing those applications that whole time with the expectation of getting money. So the thinking was that the money was going to be flying out the door when, when they got it because they had everybody all, all lined up. Although flying out the door to me, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't in, in practice. I haven't talked to a, a lot of people who who are being burdened with that. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I actually haven't heard of anyone who has gotten funds from the new round since they since they um, re refunded. I I know there were a lot of people that were funded after they said that they were done in that gap, but mm -hmm. since they said that they were refunded. I haven't heard of anybody yet. So there, there might be just a little bit of processing time too. I did get a notification from my bank, uh, Bank with Bank of America, that yeah, 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 you're, you're in queue. But you know, I think that's the third email I've gotten like that. I don't know if anybody's like me, but when I keep getting repeat the same exact thing over and over again, I kind of get disheartened. I'm like, I don't wanna keep getting the same thing over and over again. It's making me feel like nothing's really happening. Especially oh. when, you're getting, when you're not getting what it is that you are looking for over and over again. Yeah, I'm getting nothing over and over again. Yeah. Uh, Leslie says, her bank was clueless. Oh, and is not taking apps. Oh, my gosh. I, if they're clueless at this stage of the game, Leslie, you need to go somewhere else. Absolutely. Well, good thing you, you know about Cabbage. I'm so happy. Oh, Lendio is no longer accepting apps. We just tried with Harvest and they took our app. Okay. I might try with uh, um, with um, Harvest. Uh, I did try with Cabbage already. So. Yeah, that's the deal. As I understand it, you can apply multiple through, through multiple institutions, correct? Yeah, you just can only accept it one time. That's right. the key. Yeah. Uh, but gosh, it's getting... It's getting to the, we need to get it now. This is getting late. I mean, I really wanted to get mine late, but not, not, not too late. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not this late, yeah. Uh, Rosemary's awaiting SBA approval from Chase. They have no idea where they are. Eight hours make room for the smaller guys. Okay, I didn't hear about that, Rosemary. They shut out the big banks yesterday. Great. Bank of America is a big is a big bank, so poo. Well, just poo on that. Sorry for my poor behavior or my poor uh, uh, Liz, Liz. <laughs> verbiage there. <laughs> my poor language. Sorry. <clears throat> uh, so um, we learned something uh, the other day. Um, friend in. Uh, partner uh, Derek Christian shared uh, some information with us on about some things that we can do in Google My Business and uh, Google Guarantee that they've got some helpful functionality for, for uh, COVID-19. Think we should share that, Liz? Yeah, I, I, I think it's a great business move for sure. So right now- Smart, smart business move. Yeah, yeah, smart business moves that are also great. Um, think about it, is how is going to affect the industry going where we are? Isn't disinfecting going to become the norm? 
I think I think you're right, Charles. That's what we've been talking about a lot. Is that um, ever going back to a time when you're not mentioning sanitizing, disinfecting, some something more than just cleaning is those days are probably past. Uh, we're going to have to be doing that. People are going to be expecting that as a normal part of, of house cleaning. If you want to be perceived as a professional, at least. Uh, let's see. If given the PPP loan, would your strategy be to pay the employees as if they were getting pre-COVID weekly pay as their base? If they earn more than pay actual earnings, considering a weekly bonus pay with PPP, most people that I have talked with, Robin, and um, uh, that's a lot of people, just to say, uh, <laughs> most people are doing some type of a bonus. Um, many people are also doing like a little bump in the pay, um, giving it all sorts of different names, hero pay. Uh, people are trying to stay away from the hazard pay so that it doesn't sound so scary, but I know some people that are using that. So um, a lot of people are just like a little bump and then a bonus at the end. I know a lot of people are doing that. Uh, lots, of, lots of different ways to do it. What, what are the most common ways you've heard of people uh, using that money, Tom, if they're open and actually cleaning? Yeah, uh, bonuses even, you know, it could be like a weekly bonus or just extra, you know, dollar per, per hour bonus and breaking it out separately on the paycheck. And I know, Liz, this was something I learned from you that you were making it very clear or your plans to make it very clear with, with with your staff that this bonus money isn't even more money. This was something that the federal government gave you to give them for the next eight weeks to make sure that they're clear that this isn't going to yeah. last forever. And, yeah. and, and they're, they're clearly seeing that money being broken out. So yeah. and, and to yeah. one step further is to be um, how happy you are that the government offered them that is offering you this opportunity to be able to hand out this money to your people you need to get on the right side of that money really really quickly you've heard some some stories about the uh, employees being angry and um, feeling frustrated they're being called off of unemployment where they're making the big bucks right to come back to work so you need to really find a way to spin that fast before before it goes uh, uh, down a down a bad little path there. Yeah, yeah. you know that unemployment is interesting though because you know I've heard some horror stories in some states. It's just a backlog of people applying that they can't you know get their their money. Um, but the states, I mean, I know like here I'm in South Carolina, they're really aggressive about going after employers and saying, Hey, if you offered somebody their job back and if they didn't take it back, here's this really cool website that you can tell us immediately because we want to know because we're running out of money and <laughs> the sooner yeah. we can get them off of unemployment, the better. They didn't say that, they didn't say it that way literally, but that was right. Kind of <laughs> <vibe you got. laughs> we're going broke, so please. You know, help. Know if they're not help us. Yeah. Hey, Leslie, that is not an elephant on my wall. This is my um, family room here. My elephant is in my office, which I'll be in next week in my home office on that wall. And you'll see it next week. Ah, let's see. One of my staff is so happy because she has seen no money from unemployment. Oh, and she did not receive her stimulus. Oh, my gosh. Poor woman, she's not believing any of it, right? It's not coming. So she wants some work. Well, you know what's going to happen to her is she's going to get this really big check and she's going to, to be really happy when that happens. One of my employees just got a $3,800 check last Friday and yeah, she, she wasn't unhappy. Yeah, it, it, was no. a good, it was a good day for her. Oh, gosh, Oklahoma. Uh, not got hasn't gotten unemployment pay. I've heard a lot of that in Florida too. That the system's really jacked up over there. Yeah. Well, anything that you guys can do too, while your people are not getting money. So I think I did mention to you guys before that we started our Corona Cash Pantry uh, to help the people that weren't getting their monies, and that has been hugely successful actually. 
people are loving that. Um, we've gotten a lot of donations. And um, the, what I've done is to make it more fun for them is they can send me, so they get a picture of what's in the pantry because I don't want everybody coming in, right, into the office. And they can send me a text on any day that I'm there and I will run it out to their car. I will literally run the items out to their car. They not, like walk, not walk, but run? No, they like to see me run. It, it's not a pretty sight, and that's why it's fun for them. No, so, you, know, you ought to get some roller skates. No, I, I can't roller skate in my area where I'm at. I'm actually a really good roller skater, Tom. That so. would be that would be really <laughs> awesome. I, I think they just like watching me run. It's it's not good. Yeah, but I try real hard. Uh, okay, let's see. I thought I saw something. Tom, so true. D E W actually called and asked if we had laid anyone off. No. Okay. Wow. They actually called. Wow. They're they're, run, they're running out of money and they're like. Wow. Trying to get yeah. trying to get people off the rolls. Can you Tom, see my? Any, we do. Do you have any links though, Tom? Before, for the where to where to, I want to say report, not turn people in. <laughs> oh, um, this is for South Carolina, and I don't know. Kyle was just like telling me about it, and I, I I'm sorry, I don't. But it would only be okay. South Carolina. That's the only state that I have firsthand knowledge of. Well, check check unemployment wherever yeah. y'all are. So wherever, wherever, yeah, there's a website in everybody's state, you know, for the for the unemployment uh, you know, office. And I would suspect they might make that really easy for you. There's a section for employers. And if they're doing the same thing in, in your state as they're doing in South Carolina, they're probably trying to make it really easy to to let them know if you've offered people jobs and they didn't come back. Yeah, nice. Uh, Marsha, you're signing everybody up for the professional house cleaner training. Yay, smart move, smart business move right there. Good for you. Um, Tom's gonna share something real quick. So I'll, I'll hit you guys up. Martha, I'm not ignoring you. Let's uh, see what Tom has to show us. This is a smart business move right here. There's two of them, I think. Right, Tom, that you're gonna share? Yep, 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 yep. Awesome. Good information. Everybody pay attention. Okay. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with using Google Guarantee, they've added some additional functionality that is uh, specific for, for, for COVID-19 that uh, I think you should take advantage of. You can see here they've even given you uh, a little bit of uh, coaching here. Um Add service updates to your profile. Let customers know what's changed since COVID-19 by updating your profile. And the second part of that is mark your business as temporary closed or accepting customers during COVID-19. So this is what you see as soon as you lo log into your, your account. But if you go over here and go to profiles and budget. Is this Google local services, Tom? No, this is your Google guarantee. Google guarantee. This is your, your your paid stuff. Your paid stuff, Robin. Oh, sorry, guys. And you can see here at the top, they've got this section called COVID-19, how local service is responding. And where it says choose a business status, if you click on that, you got this drop down taking customers or temporary closed. So depending on your status, you can change that. And over here where it says um, add, what did it say? Add service update to your profile. You can select various things about your business. Video appointments, that would be interesting. Now, typically, I guess, you know, we would do quotes over the phone, but, you know, if we wanted to to, to incorporate video, I guess you could. I know, know some businesses, I guess, are doing that. Video estimates. Uh, if you're just getting a high call volume, you can let them know that. The things I think that are more specific to our business that would be more relevant is under the safety and health. If you're doing special things from a PPE standpoint, and I hope that you all are, I'm no, I know that you are. I'm not even going to ask that. So anybody who's doing Google Guarantee, you want to log in, go to your business info and check that. Um, 
maintaining practicing social distancing. I, I know that we're, we're, we're all doing that. And that's good to uh, set the expectation with your clients that that's happening as well. Curbside service. Hmm. Think we could get away without one, Liz? <laughs> no. I'm not thinking so. Tom really wanted to on my end. I don't think so, y'all. And yes, Charles, Google guarantee. It's good to yep. see you, Charles. I haven't seen you in a while. I haven't seen your name pop up. So good to see you. But you can save that, and that will show up when 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 you pop up in uh, Google Guarantee. The other thing that's going on is when you go to your Google My Business account, um, you got the ability to create posts now. If for some reason this is acting stupid, but we're gonna we're gonna overcome that. My phone's acting stupid too. It's also overcoming. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, Google guarantee um, that is uh, um, paid. Um, it is something that you sign up for. If you haven't heard of it, Charles, definitely get on board. Uh, I'm, it's not everywhere yet. It's not offered everywhere yet, but the vast majority of places it is. Um, and definitely worthwhile to get your name on there. Um, Sharon wants to know, what is your number? And what products do you recommend? Maybe she's talking to someone else. If you're talking to us, Sharon, let me know. I'm not exactly sure what you mean by number. Do you mean phone number? And by products, you're probably going to be, um, your best bet is going to be to take that training also. Bridget, sending it up right now, Google Guarantee. Yay, good job. So this is on your, your your Google My Business profile that, that shows up in Google. And this is uh, for, for Atlanta office. And we have been closed, but we're going to start, we're going to resume business on 4th. So I'm going to add that note here under a post under the COVID-19 update. Bang. So you guys notice that that Google is ready for you to do this. That's why they have a special place just for COVID-19 updates. And you know, we know that Google loves it when you engage and you're interactive with maintaining your profile. That's why it's important to update it on a regular basis and upload pictures and do posts. And I have no idea how much additional weight they would put on the COVID-19 in terms of using that functionality. But from an SEO standpoint, you got to think that it would, 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 would give you a little bit of a bump. So I, even if you don't have anything really profound to say, I think it would be a really good idea just to go in and create some type of post under COVID-19. If it's just explaining, you know, that you've gone through, you know, your training and you got your you know certificate and you're using your PPE and proper disinfectants and you know you could you could you could tell your story there and I think uh, I think you would I mean, it's not gonna guarantee you you know put you right at the top you know from a from a page rank standpoint but it would have to help and guaranteed it's not going to hurt and right now you're looking for every advantage so yep. this is another opportunity another advantage so take it. Uh, Tom, uh, we're having a lot of people that don't know what Google Guarantee is. Can you give us a quick rundown? Hmm. Did I close that? I think I did. Um, Google Guarantee is, is, is paid advertising in Google that, uh, I don't know, let's see if we can... Typically, it pops up here along the top. I'm not sure why we're not seeing it there. Those are the three ads up at the top of Google. That's uh, a relatively new product. It's been out, well, I don't know. It's been out for a good while now. A year? A year. Maybe two. I'm getting closer to two. So it's good for advertising. Susan, getting work, getting jobs. There you go. You see these ads here at the top? 
these are Google guarantee ads. And you, if I click on that, it's going to cost this person some money. So I'm not going to do that. But Thank you, Tom. <laughs> Um, you could go ahead and click on that Amazon cleaning. <laughs> there you go. It's it's you know it's 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 a pretty good bargain, or at least it used to be. Quite frankly, we haven't been doing any advertising uh, here for the last couple of months, so I don't know. Liz, are you guys doing any in Olympia? Yeah, we we don't even have Google Guarantee yet. Wow, that's right. Yeah. That's why I said you know okay. it's not everywhere yet. It's kind of like the restaurants and just a lot of things you guys don't have out there. Um, we have 12 restaurants now, so leave us alone. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, Liz lives in the state capital of Washington, which is a large and progressive state, not too far from Seattle, but Olympia is like Mayberry yeah. RFD, isn't it? it? It's little. It's not that. It's not that little. I think we have 35,000. Our population is 35,000. So, but we have a, a larger area. It's not just Olympia. It's because Olympia is small. So there's Lacey, Olympia, Tumwater, and that whole yeah. area is like 80,000 people. That's yeah. really big. In the entire Olympia Metroplex? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Tom loves to make fun of us. We're little. Just a little spot. Cool. Liz spends a fair amount of time, you know, in, 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 in Charleston and we, you know, where it's kind of funny. It's like, she sees a lot of things that it's like, we don't have any of those in Olympia. And it's like, yeah. if I had a nickel every time I heard, well, we don't have that in Olympia. Yeah, it's true. We don't have uh, so many things. I had never had Indian food. We don't have Indian food in Olympia. Uh, when one of my first trips to see Tom, I really wanted to go to, what's the name of that place? I only been there the one time that I was at your place. That $5 pizza. CC's yeah. pizza. CC's pizza. They make it look so good on the TV. So it, there's an advertisement on TV, but no CC's pizza. So I'm like, can we go there, please? Tom's like, do we have to? <laughs> so, yeah, uh, we, don't, we don't have a lot of places to eat. It's one of my favorite things to do in Charleston. They have some of the best food. Burnt ends. Dang, that's one of my favorite things to eat. Oh, your demographics, the same thing, Leslie? Yeah, people make fun of you? <laughs> I know your pain. Yeah, it, it's nice, though, in some other ways. Ah, all right, so um, Google Local. Um, so hopefully you guys saw that because we were kind of chatting through everything. So some updates to, to Google, right? Google Guarantee and then also your Google Local page. And anytime you can update something in Google Local, that's that's going to be awesome for you. It's yeah. it's not going to hurt you. And they really like it when you update your days and times and hours. They really love it if there's a holiday, if you update your hours. Even if your hours are the same, go in and update them and show that they're the same. They really like that. I'm I'm betting that you know to Google my business you get you're probably getting some serious extra points for doing a, a COVID nineteen post. That's yeah. that's low hanging fruit. Everybody needs to be doing that tonight. It, it it only makes sense, right? Because Google wants to stay at the top of all search all the time. And what are people searching for more than COVID nineteen right now? I, I mean, other than places to eat, <laughs> right? Or PPP money. Yeah, I actually probably PPP money is more than that. Uh, so Sharon has a question here. Let's see what she says. It is a common area at a condo complex, and they are asking me to clean it for them because of the family that had it. Uh, there was a family that had uh, COVID-19. I just want to make sure I, as everyone else, is safe and can help them. I have bleach and 409 and isopropyl rubbing alcohol. Is that enough? I'll leave that to you, Tom. No, um, you need to back up. I mean, my 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 best answer would be, you know, you need you need the right tools, you need the right cleaning agents, you need the right training. You need just think of it like a three legged stool. And if I, I can have all the chemicals in the world, but if I don't have the right tools, and 
in in this case with with uh, you know COVID nineteen tools, a big part of our toolkit is our personal protective equipment. We're talking about you know face masks. We're talking about eye protection. We're we're talking about the appropriate type of gloves. We're talking about shoe covers. More importantly, we're talking about training because if the people that are doing this work aren't properly trained on how to use the right tools, how to what they call don and doff their PPE and how to use those cleaning agents in a right way, because you can have you can have a, a, a viable disinfectant. But if you don't apply it the way the instructions tell you to apply it, you really aren't getting the, the, the effect, you, you really aren't neutralizing the virus the way that you think that you are, the way that you're supposed to be. So getting the right products is, is a plus. And as far as bleach as a disinfectant, it can be if you, you mix it properly. But honestly, I would go back to the CDC website and look at some of the products that they're recommending. But out of everything that we're talking about here, I, you know, I take the, the, the training is, in, in my opinion, is at the top of the list. You got to know what to do with all of that. And then you got to get the right, right equipment, especially the right PPE, and then start thinking about what cleaning agents you want to be using. Yeah, Sharon, I'm going to piggyback on what Tom said. The very, very first thing that you need to get, the very first thing that you need to get is understanding. And so you need to be able to understand what the needs are and what you need to have to be able to meet those needs. Because people can say, yeah, 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 bleach is good. But bleach is not the answer if you don't know how to apply it and what proportions, when, after cleaning, not before. You know, there's so much more to it than just the product. So the first thing you need to get is understanding. Easiest way, get some training. And get some um, training that is really, um, well-rounded training and uh, that's why we're really recommending the COVID-19 training it tells you what you need to know specifically for COVID-19 I mean you're not going to find better training out there for COVID-19 training yeah and, and I, Leslie, just, uh, I think I repeated that Leslie's chiming in that you know bleach is is unstable yeah and you know for cleaning common areas in a multi-family unit there's all kinds of risks with, 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 with trying to do that with bleach. There's a lot of other products that you would, would prefer to use other than a, than a chlorine based bleach. Yeah. Uh, um, Martha is asking a question earlier, Tom, that I, I had to let go. Um, would it be wise for a business owner to apply for unemployment? I did qualify for the SBA, but obviously is not to pay my personal bills and we are operating at 10%. Um, I know some business owners who have done that and have successfully gotten it and it was okay in their state. I'm thinking that's almost a state by state thing. I mean, and your structure too, right? Your business structure. You could, you could ask the question. I mean, you could like go through the application process and just full disclosure and be honest. This is, you know, I own the business and this is what I do and, 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 and see what they say. We have a regular guest on on this uh, Facebook Live who is it that guy it. whose name rhymes with crickets? <laughs> it might be, might <laughs> be. But yeah, you know, with, 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 he probably uh, has has disclosed on this uh, you know, smart business moves that he uh, he successfully is is drawn. Now you know what they've gone back to work now and they're actually doing some cleaning so. I wonder. I wonder if he could wait and hire himself back last. I need to. Add. He might be on work share too. He might be on work share, just working a little bit of time. Yeah, we'll have to. Uh, we'll have to get him back on here next week and and get an update on his uh, employment status. Also, Tom, let's see. Can you give us some clarity? We are hearing um, all about the. PHT program, the HPT program, the HTP program. <laughs> Can you tell us what is the actual name of the program that you are um, putting out on Wednesday at noon? Wow. Okay, you got me confused now. I think it's professional <laughs> house cleaning. Yeah. So what would yeah. that what would that acronym be? P H T T. Right. Or P H C training. Yes. 
professional house cleaner training. Um, okay. So the question around the PHC training is we have a couple. Um, Bridget wants to know, is she going to get an email for the program after uploading the employee names and stuff? Will she get yeah. an email? Or Yes, you'll get an email, Bridget. And then da, 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 somebody else asked. Um, so I can't find the question. Somebody else asked if they only have a few people, should they sign up for the group or individually? The, the bulk rate pricing starts after five. So it starts at six or more. So if it's five or less, it's probably easier just to enroll at, as single classes and everybody gets their own uh, login and password. And if you do that between now and Wednesday, it's it's 50% off for, for, for that. And um, Wednesday at noon Eastern, you'll be ready to hit the ground running. Yay. And Martha, I don't know if you saw it or not, but Debbie Baker says that she got SBA and she got approved for unemployment. So um, if that's helpful to you to know, to see somebody that you could actually ask some questions of. Again, you're going to have to, it's state by state. So you're still going to have to uh, go after it in your own state and find out there. But if, if that makes you feel a little bit better. <clears throat> uh, let's see, we've got some new comments here. Where are they? Oh, good, Tom. All right, did you put up the perfect? Oh, you did. Yeah, I put the link to the uh, PA. Did you just program. pop it up, Tom? Pop it up on your screen. Sure. Uh, and the only reason I really want to pop it up on your screen is because there's two there's two links, and I want to make sure that people understand exactly what it is they're signing up for. I don't want people to think they're getting the professional house cleaning program, and then sign up for the COVID nineteen training program instead. All right, you guys, so go ahead, Tom. No, there's two completely different classes. The uh, COVID-19 training is here on the left. And when you click on that, it will take you to this page and it explains there's two parts. One part is the science and the other part we call practical application. You know, our training, we think it's really important, regardless of the program, that we share the why behind the what. I mean, that's the difference between just doing a task versus truly being a professional. And, you know, Liz talks a lot about matter, meaning, measure, and you really don't know what the whole meaning is. You don't really feel the true intrinsic value and don't appreciate the value you're creating without knowing the why. So that's the science part, the practical application. And over here, this button here for the, uh, house cleaning professional. Wow, we got that backwards. Professional house. Holy cow. Look at that, Liz. Okay, so it's not professional house cleaning. Training. No, it is professional house cleaning. This label is wrong. Okay. We will get that fixed. My apology. Well, you know, that explains why we keep getting multiple different. I'm going to have, I, would, I would have to fire my assistant, but <laughs> I can't. Love her. We love yeah, her. I love my assistant. <laughs> Tom's <laughs> assistant is his youngest daughter, his middle child, and she is a delight. He fired her. There will be an uprising. <laughs> she's a, she's a, a freshman at Clemson, and she's been finishing this semester over the last month plus at home. Right. And I've been wearing her out with this stuff, but she's got like a big calculus exam in the morning that she's been trying to study for. So I've been trying to not bug her a whole lot, but we'll get that fixed. Anyway, that's professional house cleaning. When you click on that, it will take you to this. Too late. Bridget says too late. She's no. already told her employees the HCP to change the name. Okay, well, we'll do that. We'll, we'll rebuild the whole thing. No, we'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. Right. We're just testing. Uh, I just want to make sure everybody's paying attention. You guys passed. I'm, I'm, I'm excited and proud for you guys. But um, Beatrice says that the the code wasn't working yesterday, Tom. I think after eight o'clock we were having some better luck. If you did it early on, Beatrice, that that might be why. Try try again. Yeah, Tom, is that correct? Yeah, it's it's working. It's working now. It's uh. To do, to do. 
and all caps, pre-sale all caps. So if I go here and, uh, I mean, here's an example of it being actually for, we, we changed this. You don't even need the code. If you get here, you're getting your double discount because you can see that I can go ahead and say. Can you make it bigger, gonna... Tom? We can't really see. Okay. I can do. I think this is answering your question, Linda. Okay, and Bridget said she was able to purchase in bulk while on this Facebook Live, so that's great. So it looks like you put in 10, and as soon as you hit update, it takes off the discount. That's what it looks like, Tom. Yeah? Yeah. So okay. like, and this, and this gets confusing, too, because it shows you the negative number. It shows you the discount. That's not your price. Your price is the smaller number below it, that what you're actually paying. Okay, so ho hopefully that makes sense, Linda. So like in this case, if you can see it here, the price would be $420.75 when it started out at $990 for 10, for 10 programs. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, good. Uh, Heather says it worked for her, too. Okay. Yeah. Well, it looks like we're getting a lot of people that it's working for, so that's good. Oh, we did have a little bit of glitch yesterday, you guys, so um, try again today, and it looks like everything's up and running smoothly. So, yeah. yay. We're moving fast. Yeah. That's what, so, you, have to do. That's what you have to do in COVID-19 world. There's not a lot of time to just... It's like, it's, you know, it's like a month's worth of stuff happens in a day, right? Yeah. It's a little bit, it's not quite as fast as it was when it first was coming down. It was crazy. So things are mellowing out a little, but still, um, especially now, things are starting to open up. What areas are opening up? Do you know, Tom? I know that uh, we're, we are um, reducing restrictions. Uh, here in Washington State, we're, we're not completely open, but we've opened up for some construction and, and for a few other things. My brother has a construction company, and he also got his PPP money, just got his PPP money, and, he, and they're just opening it up. So he's like, perfect timing for him. He's going to be crushing it. Uh, okay, let's see. And can you explain how we make this work if we bought one spot and want to have employees see it? Can they log in under our login or how do we handle that? You can log in with one log with one login and if you wanted to get everybody around the computer or project the program on the screen, you can have as many people watch it as you can fit in the room, I guess. Um, Not fit in the room. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, I guess, you know, social distancing, as long as they're six feet apart, you can fit yeah. as many people in the room as long as they're six feet apart. Zoom meeting or something, but. The person the who, butt, huh? yeah, the but is the person who signed up for the class, first name, last name, there's only one test and there's only one certificate. So that, you know, they took it together and, and, and passed the, 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 the exam, then they would get one certificate with one name on it. You can't yeah. take it more, more than once. So, Denise, if you, if you were doing that, you would get the certificate, which is less helpful than having your employees get the certificate because one of the big values in this training is giving your people confidence and um, a, a feeling that, they they matter and that there is true meaning in their work that they are making a big difference and they're going out there so um this the certificate actually helps with that not not just the certificate but taking the training with the idea in mind that they are going to be getting that certificate is that's that's a shift in mindset it has people thinking in a much different way trying harder to absorb the information than if they are just being sat in front of a screen, everybody's watching it. Uh, so uh, now I know you guys can do that. Anybody can do whatever they want, but I'm recommending that you have the people take it individually, get their own certificates, 
print the certificates out, put them on Facebook, share them, put them on a wall if you want to. I don't care how, but share them. Make a big deal out of this. Remember, you're, you're trying to do more. Obviously, the training is hugely important. And obviously, we believe that this training is vital for your company and for professionalizing the industry. But it, don't forget the extra additional boost of making it good for your employees. Yeah, the, the real, I mean, the, the value comes in several different ways, but but one dimension, and it still gets, it gets back to the matter, meaning, measure part of this, mm -hmm. that you know, how how does one see themselves? And am I just a house cleaner or am I a professional? And we're working really hard. And I think, I think you're, you're going to see, if you aren't sure, just sign up and take the class yourself. And by the time, you know, next Wednesday, just the first module, once you see it, I think it'll be clear that you're the people that are cleaning home for you, your, 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 your cleaning professionals will do their jobs differently. And if you think about, you know, you should probably get at least a thousand dollars a week out of a, out of a cleaning professional. So that's over 50 grand a year. Um, you know, making this investment relative to the return that you would get just with some marginal improvement. But I think it's going to be, 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 be a, a, a sea change in terms of seeing how important your job is and, and, and doing it from a, from a perspective of, you know, you're on the front line of, of, of defense and healthcare. I mean, it's, it's, it's a different way of looking at at your job. Absolutely, uh, Tom. We do have an interesting question that nobody has um, posed yet. Um, uh, Linda wants to know if an employee takes the class with her own login, can they go back repeatedly? She's concerned that if someone quits, they can go back with their own employees to be trained, so they could conceivably leave the company and then take this training that she's provided to them and give it to uh, employees that they might hire uh, on the side. Well, that's, that's interesting. Yeah. I, I, I guess it would depend on how you signed up. If everybody signed up as an individual, they call that self-enrolling. And it's just like you sit down and type in your, your name and your email address and enter a credit card and bang, class is in front of you. Um, we don't know if that person in like, gosh, hundreds of people have, have taken the uh, COVID-19 training. And all we know is an email address and a first and last name. We don't know if, you know, they're, you know, they work for a larger company that, that had them to do that. We don't know if, if they were solo and just, you know, did that, you know, for themselves or we, we, we have no idea who they are, or who they work for. So um, if they enroll but, that way, if they enroll that way, we don't know what to do. If you enroll but them. Danita, but Danita is right, Tom. Yesterday you mentioned something about it only being good for 90 days. Well, that is true. Yeah. Well, so. So Linda, as long as you can keep them working for you for 90 days, and if you give them this training, chances are so much better that you will be able to make that happen. Um, then after 90 days, it's it's a moot point. I totally forgot about that. Sorry. But the other thing, if, if you do the if, if you do the bulk enrollment where you sign up as a company and you buy you know 10, 20, whatever, that's a different process. And basically, you give us a list of all your people and and we upload it. So at that point, if you wanted to take somebody out of the program, I guess we could do that. Now, that seat's been burned. We can't give it to somebody else. I mean, you've used that seat, but at least we could, you know, if you, if, you know, it's your seat that you gave to somebody else. And if you want us to deactivate it, we could do that. Okay, so Tom, I'm going to remind you that you are adding an extra layer of work to this very, very cheap program that later you're going to be mad about. So yeah. I'm going to recommend y'all <laughs> that. Don't ask don't me to do that. Yeah, don't do don't that. Do don't that. Do that. Yeah, don't do that. Because he will say yes to almost everything. But really, the reason why we're able to provide the, the, the course so inexpensively is because we're trying to keep that over in the very low. You guys know how that is. You run your own companies, right? If we have this huge 
um, overhead, this indirect labor cost, then pretty soon we, we can't even afford to do it. It's going to end up being a situation where, okay, well, we can't give do the program anymore. So, no. Uh, okay. Um, Susan wants to know, Tom, um, she purchased one seat last night since she didn't see the bulk purchase area. It was probably before eight, maybe. If I want to buy in bulk now, can the one I purchase be added to the 15% discount? Somehow we can probably figure out how to do that. I'm going to need Kate's help. And if we could let her take her exam tomorrow <laughs> and have that discussion yeah. afterwards. The class doesn't start until next Wednesday. But yeah, I, we understand because uh, the bulk pricing was, was, was a bit goofed up. Right. After the call, it took us a little bit of time to get that figured out. So um, send an email to, to mail at moderncleaning.com explaining what's going on. And if you give us a couple of days, we'll get it squared away before Wednesday. And Denise, um, how, where you buy in bulk is when you open up that window, just scroll down and the bulk, the bulk purchasing option is on the right hand side. There are two right next to each other. So you'll be able to see it. Um, Janina wants to know, oh, you're going to show that's yeah, great. From, uh, over here, you just click on, this is for the, um, professional house name program and over here, buy multiple classes for your team. We're going to redo this This graphic is supposed to be bigger and this is going to be explained better, but this is where you do it and you just press on this button and it gives you more explanation and it tells you what the, the discounts are. You're getting the extra 50% off of that for the next between now and, and, and Wednesday. And here you just enter in how many classes you want and hit update. So 10 classes at $99 would be $990, but you take the uh, bulk discount and the 50% off of that. And basically it comes out to be like $42 a class. If it's a bigger number, like the big, the biggest discount is anything over 50. So, wow. So that says like $5,000, but by the time you're done, it's 12. So what's that like $25, $24 and in, in change a class. I need to tell Laura, Laura Smith, if you're not on here, you need to get, I'll hook up, I'll hook her up, Tom. I don't want her to miss this. And, you know, with Juno and they're supposed to be mm -hmm. coming home from the hospital today. I don't want her to miss out. So I'll, I'll reach out to her. Okay. Um, Janina wants to know, Tom, hey, Janina, long time no see. Um, would you say the language on the videos and the test are easy enough for someone with a language barrier? Six out of 10 skills, able to take the course. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sh sure. I guess I, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. Liz, what do you think? I don't either. Uh, gosh, you know what I would do, Janina? It, it would be worth it to you. You're going to want this information anyway, Janina. You personally are going to. It's excellent information. Take it yourself and find out if you think it, it, it's something that your people would be able to digest. Uh, I'm leaning, I'm leaning toward there's going to have to be somebody there interpreting to get the full impact of the message. Uh, sorry, I, I wish I could say the opposite, but I, I'm pretty sure to be able to get the full impact, they're going to be, have to be my concern too. And I'm making assumptions here because I guess there's a broad spectrum of possibilities when you say that, you know, people might need a little extra help, but I mean, we're writing it for technicians, make no misunderstanding. And we remind ourselves that on a, you know, about every 10 minutes. Every 10 minutes. That's what I was going to say. Don't forget. <laughs> but that being said, when you, when you, you're getting into the whys behind what it is that you're doing, it's, 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 it's a more involved discussion than, you know, remove soil from a surface, spray and let set, you know, keep wet for 10 minutes, wipe dry. I mean, it's, a deeper discussion yeah and so i i feel like i'm i'm leaning toward they're going to need help Janana, to 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 just make it clear 
Um, Linda says, got it. Is it a good idea to add in my bulk two spots that I do not know a name yet? If the two do not come back, I will have to hire to meet PPP requirements. My answer to that would be yes, you're going to have to hire those two people anyway. So in my role, that would just be more incentive for me to jump on that and, and get yeah. them hired. So talking I, to a lot of talking to, 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 to a lot of cleaning business owners, there's this thing that 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 saying that 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 we say a lot in our training programs. It's like at any point in time, you got too much of one thing and not enough of something else. You got too many customers, not enough uh, cleaning professionals. You got too many cleaning professionals, not enough customers. In this world, especially if you got PPP money, if you're going to be wrong, you want to be wrong by having too many cleaning professionals. Absolutely. In, in too many cases, I hear people saying, "I've got jobs and I don't have anybody to clean them." And when the go federal government wants to pay their pay, that is, yeah, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad, bad. Yeah. You, you need to have, this is one time when we're all in agreement it, that you need to have more employees than you have worked for. Absolutely. Get over hire, over hire. That's not always the case. A lot of times where, you know, uh, different people are in conflict and Derek, Tom and I, we all operate a little bit differently. So, you know, we don't always want to have more cleaning professionals than we have worked for. But right now, <laughs> absolutely err on the side of too, too many people. You can always find work for them, you know. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh, okay, Janina, yeah, take it and see how hard it is. I think that's the best. You're going to know better than anybody else. Uh, let's see. I thought we were going to talk about something else, Tom. I, well, I mean, I guess we're kind of out of time here. Maybe you could throw up the Clean Business Today link for us. Yep. And I will try to remember what this other thing was. There was another thing. Yeah. What was it? I don't know. Darn it. I should have written it down. I'm making... I'm, I'm so busy with paper today, writing notes and making myself little graphs that I didn't get that written down. Okay, so here's Cleaning Business Today, cleanbusinessday.com. Over here, you can subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, you want to, you'll, you'll, you'll get our newsletter. You got a secret page here that you got to know the URL, and it's coronavirus-downloads. I'll post this in the chat. Oh, that's good. Thank you. And this has got the downloads. I mean, there's there's edible word documents. There's uh, a lot of things here are downloads. Some of them are examples of of blog articles, communication. A lot of the stuff initially was was, was around the communication plan and how are you gonna talk to your uh, to, to your team members and to your clients um, somewhere in here is a link to the CDC I know we've got that link in the uh, covid-19 training for, for which thing huh? what are we looking for, for here the CD, for the count for the uh, um, prescribed disinfectants by the CDC Oh yeah. Well, we'll we'll get that. Oh, Susan is saying that in Tennessee, if employees don't feel comfortable coming back to work when they're ready to open, that they will still get the federal uh, unemployment, the the six hundred dollars stimulus. Uh, I have heard that uh, in a, a couple of states, and um, I'll be curious to see how you turn that into an opportunity that will become an opportunity in some way. I, I, I don't know what that is, but I, I'm curious to see who, who lights on that opportunity first. Somebody's going to figure that out and then going to really make that work for them. Um, I can't find much guidance for the same situation in Georgia. Um, um, most of the places, most of the states have exactly the opposite wording um and uh oh, we're I'm trying to think where we have this too i can find some verbiage for you around that bridget 
Let me write myself a note. And we can have Tom tell it like it is tomorrow around this. Okie dokie. What do we got here, Tom? Um, this is a, a question you were around in the chat. The question came up earlier about, you know, what disinfectants do I want to use for, for COVID-19? You know, you learn, in the, you learn in the COVID class that it's, uh, you know, enveloped, RNA enveloped uh, virus is really fragile. Soap and water does a really good job of, of uh, rendering it uh, inactive. But they don't have a lot of research on it. So there's a, a list of uh, disinfectants that uh, the EPA recommends for, for COVID. It's on the CDC website. I wrote the link. So it, it's hard to think about some of this stuff too, you guys, because we hear, we, you know, you see a lot of those funny memes that are out and about and the different Facebook posts. Uh, it's really easy to disable soap and water. Make sure you get a strong enough disinfectant. Right? So it's like these mixed messages everywhere. So that's why you got kind of have to get all of the information. And, and like we were saying earlier, I think to who are we talking to Martha, maybe that that first thing is information. You know, make sure that you have all the information, get your testing in. Uh, another thing I wanted to say, this isn't what we were going to talk about earlier, but most of us are getting two types of money. We're getting the idle money and then we're getting the PPP money. Both of those monies have a, um, this training has a place in both of those monies. So training is a great way to spend some of your idle money, right? To grow your business and um, be prepared for the next wave, which we don't know yet, y'all. We don't know what's coming yet. What, what's the word, Tom? Because it is an unprecedented. This is an unprecedented time. So we don't know what's coming. So get that training. Second thing is PPP. This is a great thing. If you don't have enough work for your people to do, training is a great thing for them to be doing. So make sure that they're ready, they're confident, and they know they have the information to be able to do the right work. You'll never, you'll never train your people more cheaply than what you can right now. Yeah. Now is the time. And you make a good point. You know, you need to get prepared for cleaning in a COVID-19 world for a, you know, a relatively long time. You know, we're talking probably a couple of years, not a couple of months. Um, there's some encouraging things. You know, we talked about the, you know, the, the Gilead drug uh, remdesivir that uh, seems to have some, uh, effectiveness, some efficacy of taking sick people and getting them out of the hospital a few days sooner and maybe not as many people are dying. So that makes people feel a little bit better, but it's a long time coming before they actually come up with a vaccine. And even after they do that, being able to make enough of it, when you start thinking about the number of people across the world, they're going to need it. It's going to take them a long time just to produce enough vaccine and then distributing it and getting people to take it. And it's, you know, it's going to be it's going to be a couple of years or more before this thing's in our rearview mirror. Some people think it's going to be longer than a couple of years. It just depends. But I think it's really safe to say that you know you're 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 making a smart business move if you're making decisions now with the assumption that you're going to be cleaning in a COVID nineteen world for the next couple of years. Yeah, uh, Leslie says it's it's not going away. It's going to be back. It's it, it's not gone yet. So it, it, coming back is kind of a, even a, a, a loose sort of a term. It's, you know, we're, we're, we're not through it yet, y'all. We're kind of in that mode of, yeah, we're, we're on the far side. We're almost through it. Yeah, we're really not. We're really so still on it. We're just so tired of it that we're just <laughs> saying we're, we're, <laughs> we're ready. <laughs> we're ready to be done. <laughs> Ready to go out and do our stuff. Hey, Bridget, mm -hmm. we love you too. Here's the, here's the skinny. 30,000 people a day are being diagnosed with it, and 2,000 people a day are dying from it. So it's far from over yeah. in this country, in the United States. Yeah. Okay, um, guys. Real quick, I wanted to say one more thing. Real quick, Tom, is right. um, 
Um, most of the states now are having some um, a lot of opportunity for more testing. And I do know of two companies that um, are sending all of their employees for the COVID-19 test. Uh, I'm doing that in my, my company as well. We have a, a place that we can send people with no symptoms. You can send them to be tested. Um, I think that that also, remember, mixed bag there, though, because a lot of people, some estimates are one in four are showing symptoms. So three out of four are not. So you send all your employees over to get tested and you find out that 75% of them are uh, positive. That could be a little bit uh, scary. So just, just, just a thought. Yeah, here's the here's the, the the skinny on that. The FDA used to have really strict rules in terms of how tests were developed. They basically threw all of that out the window when you know people were getting sick and they didn't have any tests. So a whole lot of companies started coming out with their COVID nineteen tests, and some of them aren't very good. And when they aren't very good, what typically happens is you get false positives that they tell you you've got it, but you're asymptomatic, but really you don't have it, but it's just a bad test. So, you know, I'm not saying don't get tested or don't test your people. That's not what I'm saying. I guess what I am saying is even if it says you have it, there's a viable chance that it was just a, a bad test. Good information, right? I mean, nothing is set in stone right now, y'all. Nothing. <laughs> okay, maybe a, maybe a little bit, but very little. Also, I'm just going to say real quick, I know we're leaving, but I just want to say we were supposed to get the details and the the rules around. The how, many, how many days ago? Couple Tuesday. Days ago? Tuesday. Tuesday. We were supposed to get it Tuesday. I was fine when they said Tuesday, but now it's. Thursday. All righty. Okay, Tom. Thanks, guys. Thanks, we'll see y'all tomorrow. tomorrow. And don't forget, Tom, what are they supposed to do tonight? Uh, relax. Take care. Hey, we're almost to Friday, okay? Um, right. It's been a, been a long week, but, uh, you know, I think maybe we're getting used to that by now, right? Yep. It doesn't feel as long as it was before. That's for sure. Appreciate you guys' uh, help. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye, y'all. -bye. Bye,